Hello Udemy, I am Shahzad Aman from Shakzi.com and uh, welcome in lecture number 7. Today we are going to create our database and, and we are going to set our database inside our uh, project so that's uh, so we can easily create our tables and uh, we can start our project so in the last lecture uh, you learn how can you add templates uh, and uh, um, in the previous lectures you learned how can you break your elements why you need to break your elements into multiple views or multiple parts so today we are going to create our databases or our database and our tables uh, using a particular tool and make sure I consider that you have the basic knowledge of MySQL and relational database if you are watching this lecture so I consider you have the basic knowledge of <laughs> relational database and mysql so this is the e-commerce uh, series and we are going to create a basic uh, e-commerce system in coding nighter make sure i'm not going to create and we are not going to create a hi-fi e-commerce uh, system uh, like ebay and amazon we are just creating or we are going to create uh, our e-commerce system a basic e-commerce system means how can you create your uh, categories how can you manage your entire website uh, from your admin panel how can you design your admin panel how can you add your templates how can you add your uh, e-commerce template in your uh, um, project and uh, how can you create your orders how can you generate your order manage order sending emails extra 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 and uh, extra thing um, extra card so I'm going to use data grid for the database purpose if you are using MySQL or uh, uh, another tool uh, for suppose uh, SQL Yog or something else uh, it's totally depend upon you which tool you are using for your database purpose I'm going to use data grid so data grid is data grid is the jet brands tools you can download you can download data grid or you can easily download data grid from the jet brands tool they are providing 13 days free trials and if you are a student and you are a teacher you just you can uh, you can just provide the identity uh, related with your education or your organization so they will provide you the one year uh, free license for you so I have a student license <laughs> okay for now uh, it's totally depend upon you either you are uh, using PHP my admin or data grid I'm using data grid by the way so first of all uh, I'm saying control alter shift control alter shift s okay so I am just connecting with my database so I'm saying e-commerce so we have not created yet any database I'm saying root so password hasn't test so I think it's working apply okay you can see we have we are in the sections so I'm saying create database which database I'm saying e-commerce okay e-commerce is uh, already available okay so uh, if it's uh, I'm saying oh, okay just a second I'm saying drop database e-commerce so we have dropped so now I can say create create database e-commerce okay control enter so we have created our uh, database now so uh, you can you can say show databases so uh, it can show you e-commerce uh, so I have uh, eight different databases we have created e-commerce uh, before few minutes oh, okay so uh, uh, I'm saying schema so schema okay first of all you need to select your e-commerce and I'm saying now schema e-commerce so here is your e-commerce database so double click on this so you can see you have, here is your schema uh, e-commerce right click add table new table I'm creating admin table because we are going to create the admin login system okay admin table first of all uh, 
we have created database now we are creating a table name admin and we are creating so if you are a if you are new with this tool so i'm going to explain each and everything so you can easily create your databases using data grid so you can name your table here you can pass your comment about your table here so you can create a column from here hit the plus button column give your column name type and your uh, options for suppose not null auto increment and primary key i'm saying a id i'm saying this is uh, integer and uh, i'm going to define the constraints i'm saying not null primary key auto increment okay you can see it's automatically generating or automatically creating the sql statement so you you don't need to write your SQL statement here. So I'm going to create another column. I'm saying a name. For suppose, I'm saying email, or it's totally depend upon you how you are uh, creating your columns. I'm saying watch our 50 is enough, not null. And I'm saying a date, date and time. So this is also a not null field, and I'm saying a email oh, okay it's a var chart field so i think 100 is enough not null and i'm saying a password var chart and i'm saying 200 it's not null okay i think it's enough so hit the execute button so you can see uh, you have created a admin panel or oh, sorry admin table double click on this you you have empty table so if you are uh, if you want to add some thing inside your table hit the plus button so uh, okay just modify your column delete this column first of all execute it and now okay so now you have these columns uh, if you want to add something uh, in this table uh, first of all uh, if you are using uh, you are uh, if you are adding something using your sql script hit the, the this button and right console now you can uh, insert insert something like this okay we are not doing like this okay we are just adding something using uh, interface also because it's a auto auto increment key so that's why it's saying generated I'm going to add name Shexi email. I'm saying okay. I'm going to this is the uh, date, and I'm saying email admin at hotmail.com. Make sure password is also admin. So uh, whenever you want to add or you want to modify or you want to change something from your table or from your database you need to update your database so you can see here is a button db hit the db button so you can see you have successfully inserted a record inside your table so first of all you have created your e uh, database and you have created your admin table using data grid tool so now uh, we need to configure our database so how can you configure your database go to your application uh, folder and make sure config folder so database sections make sure we have connected with our server <laughs> make sure i'm using xam so it's a local host so that's why i'm going to use root because uh, username is root and password is md so it's a basic so i'm saying that the database is e-commerce because we have created a database named e-commerce so we have successfully uh, defined uh, our database inside our database.php file so first of all go to your uh, sorry uh, admin section hit the admin button so it's saying it's working fine so open your autoload.php file we need to set something to autoload uh, i'm saying uh, i'm setting 
database to autoload because we are going to use database class for our query builder or using active records so we have loaded html help uh, url helper for now we have loaded database for now and now we have to load the session also uh, before uh, loading the session we have to specify the encrypted key so here is the key where is the key encryption key you need to uh, add some key here i'm saying this is the key okay so now we have loaded database session and we have loaded our uh, url helper in our autoload.php file so go to your page refresh the page okay so now it's working fine in the next in the next lecture we are going to create our admin panel or our login system we are going to create our login system for our admin uh, so uh, we can create our uh, so your admin can manage your entire website uh, using uh, this admin panel so i think this is the enough for today and uh, in this in the no next lecture uh, i will show you something new so thank you for watching